Frogs are fun little creatures that hop around the pond and eat insects. But as many are already aware, every single one of them are princes, cursed to live their lives as wet amphibians and the only way to break the curse is to be kissed by another human being. It was once thought to be just an old fairy tale until a man in his 60s kissed a frog on a dare and to his surprise, the frog turned out to be an old prince from Franks. This incident encouraged many children and lonely adults to go out of their ways to chase frogs in the creeks, hoping to bag them a prince who could change their lives for the better. But what most don't realize until it's too late is that real life princes are not like the ones from Disney movies. No. Real princes are kind of gross, which makes sense since most of them hail from the Middle Ages. They're not exactly as clean and pristine as their media portrayals would lead you to believe. Personal hygiene and grooming aside, they're also churlish and tyrannical, very used to making their subjects suffer for their own amusement and executing them for looking at them. A lot of royal families also practiced inbreeding to keep the bloodline pure, which means that a lot of them had physical deformities and or cognitive disabilities. Being romantically involved with them will require formal consent from their conservators and approved by a judge, and even then your role in the relationship will be more of a caretaker than a lover. Now I'm not saying that it can't work out as long as your love is true, but it'll require a lot of patience. Sure, you might be able to meet a prince from a more recent time, but even then, their titles don't mean anything in this day and age. All their wealth and kingdoms are long gone, their lineage but a distant memory. They have no subjects to rule and good luck trying to get anyone to swear fealty to someone who can't even figure out how to use a smartphone. But that's not even the worst part. We're talking about human beings who used to be frogs for thousands of years. It's hard to adjust to being human again when they spent most of their time submerged in water while preying on mosquitoes. Civilization has also evolved way past their ability to recognize anything around them. Getting these princes acclimated to being human in modern civilization will require vast amount of time and effort, to say the least. I think it's safe to say that the majority of you wouldn't enjoy that very much and neither will the princes. The more humane thing to do is to let them continue to live as frogs rather than change them back into inbred tyrants with God knows how many diseases from the Middle Ages. I'm Gangnam Style Pizza and this has been another episode of Animal Facts. Stay tuned for more factual animal facts. Have a wonderful animal day.